everyone, it's me again. Um, it's March 29, 2013, and um, I've already reported the deeds for the day, and uh, now I'm just taking you along for the ride. Um, I'm hungry, and I'm a little cranky. Uh, the snowbirds are in full force. It's um, Passover and Easter weekend approaching, so made me a little snippy on the road, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to stay in good spirits, but they do get on my last nerve. Uh, I was talking to you guys about my hand mixer and um, from Cuisinart, and I did call Cuisinart yesterday, and you know, I gotta tell you, I was not real thrilled at their um, customer service or their response. They don't really seem to be all that concerned that there's flame shooting out of it. Um, it's like a blue light flash flamey thing and um, yeah so and I've only used it like three times so I know I can take it back to Bed Bath & Beyond and actually I'm in the Bed Bath & Beyond parking lot right now but I don't have it with me I will not be returning it at the moment but I'm a little ticked because I have a lot of Cuisinart stuff you know toaster panini thing grill and all kinds of you know um, Cuisinart stuff and um, right now, I actually have a Cuisinart trash can and um, with the little step thing and the hand mixer. And both of them are giving me a problem. And so I called about them yesterday. And, um, yeah, they're just, they weren't really helpful. They offered to let me pay for shipping both ways. <laughs> both ways. Okay, for a new, new mixer that I just bought. Um, and they will uh, then um, replace it. Once they receive the damaged one and they charge me for shipping, um, going to them and shipping coming back to me. Yes, I just didn't really feel like that was taking care of the issue. Not at all. But they did say that I could take it back to Bed Bath & Beyond, and I know I can. Speakerwood, you mentioned that. And, of course, I know. I know my return policies. But, um, you know, I just don't think that that's a good way to handle the situation with a product like that. Like, it, that's dangerous. Um, and what's this about? Like the $6 one works fabulous and compared to, I don't know. I don't know. But then, uh, Aunt Margie, you said you got one and you love it. So maybe I just need to get a new one. Um, so I'm a little down on Cuisinart at the moment. Uh, I'm going to go get a breve schmeve. I know that I said it's a yogurt berry day, but I consider uh, a breve part of my yogurt berry day because, as you know, I have cream in my coffee, and I'm not going to not have that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have cream in my coffee. I'll probably um, come back in a few. Okay? Talk to you soon. Okay, so um, I'm running errands, and I... Uh, been in a poo-poo mood uh, just you know a lot of snowbirds in town and just uh, road rage and uh, so I stopped over to the farmers market to get some um, some herbs and uh, I just got a pedicure so I'm wearing those tacky like slip on um, you know bright canary yellow slippers that go with my shirt you know the disposable ones those real tacky ones and um, so I'm like sliding my feet, you know, into the grungy little farmer's market and I grab my stuff real fast and um, so I'm in the checkout and there's this guy in front of me, tall and, you know, I didn't think anything of it, but he turned around and this guy was like gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous and um, super tall and he starts a conversation with me. He's like, oh, what are you going to make with all, all that produce? And, um, oh, I said, well, I'm, you know, helping somebody go from fat to skinny. And he goes, oh, really? I lost 40 pounds, you know. I, I, and he started to, like, you know, try to drag the conversation out. And so it dawns on me. This guy's hitting on me, but he's shy and, like, he doesn't know how to go about it. So, um, so, yeah, he continued to talk to me. And then, um. You know, he was already like rung up, so he was like, "Okay, well, nice talking to you." And he went, and he left, and I was like, "Damn!" 
you know, what happened? You know, that's it? Yeah, that was it. Missed opportunity. Um, I guess I'm, I'm not forward like that. I just don't, you know, I don't like it. Ask people for their number or whatever. And, um, apparently neither does he, but he was clearly hitting on me. He was hitting on me. And this is that shirt. This is the shirt from Valentine's Day that Robert, um, the parking lot stalker left his note on my car. You know, like wh why is it that people like Robert have no problem coming out of the woodwork and, uh, you know, dropping a hint, but, you know, then somebody, like, extremely attractive missed opportunity. <sighs> oh, well. Maybe I'll see him there again. Who knows? Or it just wasn't meant to be. But he was really, really cute. I mean, he was, like, amazing. Uh, and I never go on about that because I'm not even, like, about looks either. Today... I absolutely was so anyways uh, I'm gonna go to CVS and I'm gonna find some nail polish and um, paint my my little fingers because they're really bad looking and I don't really like any of the colors that I have right now and I usually only wear uh, the pale sugar daddy pink and I'm right I'm like walking on the wild side so I'm gonna go find me like some pretty bright pink or purple or something and um yeah oh yeah so of all times like usually I'm wearing like nice looking shoes and everything and I'm standing there um in front of the jolly green giant who's apparently he he said that he's an ex-football player and um so he's like the jolly green giant next to little shrimpy me and I'm there in my disposable pedicure slippers Lovely. Anyways, that's it. Pushing up.